running is an escape to me, but I really enjoyed running with Denise because just about being together and it was just fantastic. Whatever came up in our life, we were gonna continue to try to run together, whatever way we could. I had so much admiration for her. She was happiest when she was doing things for others. On our wedding day, I promised her that I would take her anywhere she wanted and we'd run our first marathon together. And then, you know, we got the diagnosis and, you know, things changed a lot. She was having some issues, some physical problems, pains, things like that that wouldn't go away. Eventually, we got the diagnosis of ALS. And um, it, it, I, I think it hit both of us pretty, pretty hard. She wasn't able to walk, and it was heartbreaking. But she looked at every day, okay, here's a new day. How can I help someone? She has always had a spot in her heart for children. And when we went to our first Team Momentum dinner, she told me it would be so cool if we could run for the Muscular Dystrophy Association. Running is great, but when you run for a charity or a purpose, it's a hundred times better. The last night that she was alive, I ended up staying up with her all night. I was just talking to her about how thankful I was for her and Denise has always wanted to do the Chicago Marathon. We were so excited about it. We'll always, always run together. There's just, that's just how it's going to be. We just had to do it differently. You know, I still run with, with Denise close by. When I was done and I was like totally in tears and everything, you know, and people are coming up to me and hugging me and everything and I'm like, all I could say is she was supposed to be here. This was about keeping Denise's spirit alive. Because of Denise's impact on me, I am going to continue to live life as if everything is a miracle because that's how she was able to fight this disease for so long and do so much good in the process.